In this video, we're going to take a look at what the social model is versus the medical model, how we approach accessibility, and how we can enable disabled people to achieve their potential. The medical model is the belief that a person's medical condition is a problem and that they should overcome their impairment in order to fit into society. It has influenced people's understanding of disability for centuries. It first emerged at a time when thinkers and writers questioned their beliefs on various subjects, from religion to science. Due to the progress of science that was happening during this period, attitudes started to move away from this idea that disability is a punishment from God to now viewing it as a mental or physical defect that should be treated. This belief continued until the 1970s when a group of disabled people decided that it was time to challenge it. They called themselves the Union of the Physically Impaired Against Segregation, and they argued that it is society and the various barriers that exist within it that stop disabled people from being able to participate as fully as possible. These include negative attitudes, physical barriers, and organisational barriers, which are often present in the school or legal system, for example. This new way of defining disability has since become known as the social model. In order to make sure the social model is effective, everybody, schools, businesses, governments and individuals, need to work together to make their public areas and services more inclusive. We can do this by considering how to make a building accessible from the inside through layout and how we place furniture, thinking about etiquette and appropriate language, making sure that staff are trained and know how aids such as hearing loops work, and how to assist people in emergencies. What are some things that we can do that will help to achieve the aim of the social model? Ensure that lifts are used for their purpose and not as additional storage spaces. Keep a side entrance unlocked and accessible. Make sure ramps are at an appropriate incline and usable. Place buzzers lower down for access at all height levels. Use accessible signage. Have written materials available in different fonts and formats, such as Easy Read. Make adjustments for all, whatever their disability. It is often believed that making these changes are complicated and expensive, but actually many involve making small changes and are free. But above all, we can achieve the social model by not making assumptions about what a person can or can't do, involving disabled people in all activities and discussions, especially when talking about what support they require, and remembering that just because a person doesn't use a wheelchair, it doesn't mean that they don't have a disability. This video was brought to you by Tukan Diversity. We deliver equality training with a focus on disability by a team of accredited trainers with first-hand experience.